Now we are going to set up a queue and some queue items. Queues and queue items are an integral part of running automations. Queues allow jobs to work on multiple items sequentially while also keeping track of their progress in the cloud server. Queue items are the individual items stored within a queue. A queue is a great component to use when an automation involves a lot of items or tasks to be processed in order. First, we are going to make sure we are logged in to the cloud server. We are going to go to queues and make sure that we have at least one queue. Let's add a queue just so we can see how we add a queue. Make sure you put your queue name. The retry count is default to zero, but if you would like to retry your queue items when they fail, you can increment this number to whatever you feel comfortable with. You can also add a description to your queue to describe what type of queue items you will be working with. Let's save our queue. And here you can see our new queue has been saved. Let's go to all queue items. Here we can see our queue is already listed along with our other queues, but let's stick with my queue. We don't have any queue items yet, so we can add a queue item. Let's put a name for our queue item. We will keep the queue as my queue. The state will always be new unless it changes when it is being worked throughout the queue. The source and event are used for business processes and integration events, and these are not always necessary to fill in. So for now, we will just leave it blank. You can select an expiry date. Let's just put March 31st for now. We can also postpone our queue item to wait to be worked until a specific date. Since we want to test it now, we won't set this. The queue item types are JSON and text. Let's start with the text queue item. Here you can see there is data text that we need to enter. Make sure you have everything filled in and click the Save button. We can see that our queue item has been added successfully. Let's create another queue item just so we can try the JSON. Again, keep it in our queue, keep the state new. We don't need a source or an event here. We can add an expiry date if we would like, we don't have to. But this time our queue item type will be of a JSON type. Here you can see that our view has changed into a data JSON view and we want to add our field and value here. So here, put any field and value you would like. We can add multiples if we want. And again, the JSON type. Whatever your type is for your JSON, for now, we are just going to put entity since it is some sort of entity that we are using. Again, our queue item has been added successfully. The third kind of queue item we can add is with a file. So we can use those files in the studio to be processed. So let's add a file queue item. Again, our queue item type can be JSON or text. Out of simplicity, let's just use text. But this time we want to upload a file. We can upload text files, HTML files, anything you would like. Let's just upload a text file for now and click Save. As you can see, all of the queue items have been added. We have a file queue item, a JSON queue item, and a text queue item. Our expiry date is non-existent here for our file queue item. That means it can be used at any time. Let's view some details of our file queue item. As you can see, 
all of the details are populated here. We have our attached files. We can download the file if we would like. We can also duplicate a queue item if we would like to. That just means it is a copy of the original queue item. And let's go back to check that it has been duplicated. And we can see there are now two file queue items. So now let's open our OpenBot Studio application where we can see how these queue items are used. Let's create a project in the studio and name it queue items. We can remove our message. And we want to make sure our server commands have been added to our studio. If they have not been added, please go to the package manager, gallery, and make sure that your server commands have been installed. As you can see, ours have already been installed here.